cold. It's freezing. <laughs> what is it, minus 20? It's minus 22. And what's with the wind chill, did they say? Uh, 34, I think, but I can't really remember. I remember saying 34 when I looked. It's also outflows 40 to 50 knots. And we're down at the marina and my hand is freezing. <laughs> we're like, look at our hoodies. and cozy. Right Ranger? We stay in here. On Skookum we've uh, kind of took apart our couch. We do have some water lines down in there. I don't know if you can see the blue and the red. So I went to turn on the, the water pressure and our blue water line, our cold water line, was frozen. So We've actually thawed it out and uh, now it seems to be working fine. It is minus 18 or 19 out there and that's not even with the wind chill. No ice forming on this window. We really didn't insulate this little window here. Oh, even in the boat it's forming. this door too. a little frozen. <laughs> Derek can't get it off. You just heat up, the, that up. heat up the cleat a little bit so that I can... Doing. Hey, Reins. Reins. What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> We are just on our way to some hot springs. Um, can't see very good in front of us. It's really foggy and super cold out, but the winds are about 14 knots. Not too bad, but uh, looks like the tide is in our favor. It's pushing our boat at seven knots right now, which is kind of nice. Usually we cruise at about six. <laughs> it is super cold, but uh, nothing will stop us. We know this boat can handle it because it's our Nordy. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's a beautiful morning here in Bishop Bay. One of our favorite places to come. That's why in a lot of our videos you'll see Bishop Bay. It's just because I always want to come here. I love the hot springs. So much fun. Derek shoveled a nice path all the way to the hot springs for us. It was pretty deep before. Oh, this is nice. Ooh. The last thing you want is snow in your boot. Good morning. It's Tuesday, December 28th, and we made it to our destination last night. In fact, it was yesterday afternoon, around 4 o'clock we got in. Our plan was to leave on Sunday, uh, but the 40 to 50 knot outflow winds changed our mind. Plus, it was minus 22. I think we chatted with you when we got to the marina, uh, standing outside in the cold, and we decided that we were not going to go that day uh, because the next day which was Monday yesterday uh, looked so much better so yesterday the winds changed to 15 to 25 outflow and only minus 14 so we thought we'd head out so we came and there was a couple points there where it was getting pretty rough uh, unusually rough for 15 to 25 but I guess when it's been blowing 40 to 50 for a couple days it takes a while for the water to settle down so Anyways, we made it to the dock. I did some shoveling here at Bishop Bay. I shoveled the, most of the dock off. I shoveled the whole ramp and all the way up to the hot springs. After my shoveling, uh, we had a hot tub and it was nice. And I thought the water would be only lukewarm, but it was actually quite warm. It was uh, about what a normal bath would be. Uh, slightly cooler than normal, but still really warm uh, on a minus 14 day. This morning we woke up to this beautiful day. Yeah. Uh, did, really nice. Yeah, I did a little more shoveling and went back to the hot tub. So now we're having a coffee and we're going to untie from the dock and head over to Gribble Island and uh, drop our prawn traps. Maybe. If we feel maybe. up to it. <laughs> <laughs> the ropes are a little bit frozen. <laughs> yeah, the ropes are frozen and the traps are frozen to the, the top deck of the boat. So if we can free them all up, then we'll go. If not, I'm quite happy to sit here and do nothing and just enjoy the beauty and Maybe go for a little walk or maybe shovel. There's a two uh, boardwalks, one that goes to the hot tub and one that goes to the little camping area. So maybe I'll shovel the other direction to the camping area um, just for something to do. It's just so nice to be outside and uh -huh. enjoying. Uh, uh, one of my favorite places to be. It's beautiful here. And I could just sit in the boat and look out the window all day. I wonder what the other boaters are doing in Mexico right now. Swimming, <laughs> floating around the Caribbean, <laughs> sun tanning. There's one of the tent pads people stay on in the summer. Full of snow. Hey, Range? Hey, Beep. Got your jacket on? Hi! Ranger! You like it out here? Go play! Go play! Go play! Oh. <laughs> Are we having much luck? Well, there's fire in there. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to find wood 
It's all buried in snow. And it's all frozen and the cold. The only thing that burns is this green stuff, but it also makes a lot of smoke. It's the sap in the limbs that are burning. <laughs> Just put my waders on this morning. We're gonna go for a little kayak. So, gonna put waders on, go around the bay. Right now it is minus three degrees Celsius, so it is warming up every day so far. <laughs> Getting our waders on. So, it's kind of hard. Stuffing my Christmas body into this <laughs> set of waders. <laughs> we're wearing them because we're going kayaking and it gives you that extra layer of protection because when you kayak, usually you get wet unintentionally. So this will help keep us dry. And if we happen to fall in the water, then uh, they also have flotation. Um, we also wear our life jackets, of course, because we're going out for a kayak. So. Take Ranger for an adventure on this balmy day of minus three. <laughs> sure beats the minus 22 or whatever we started this trip. Yeah. Crystal clear water. Wow. Ranger, are you gonna jump off? Whoa. In the morning, we decided to put Edna on. We've named our crock pot Edna because she cooks for us while we're out playing. <laughs> so um, I made jalapeno popper chicken in the crock pot. It was pretty good and pretty hot, but it was delicious. Here we are at the nice hot springs. <laughs> Derek said it's the warmest that it's been since we've got here. Does it feel good? Feels good. Ah. Wow, we woke up this morning and the sun's shining and it's zero degrees today. We might go for another little kayak, but uh, it kind of hurt Derek's back yesterday, so <laughs> he's taking a little break, but we'll see. We might go kayaking, have another hot tub. 
Not sure. Or just be lazy. Good morning. It's Thursday. Uh, had a great night last night. Uh, fresh dusting of snow. And temperature today is zero. And fairly calm in the bay here. So um, we still have not put our prawn traps down. So we probably <laughs> won't. Just because we're just enjoying relaxing. And uh, we go for walks. Yesterday we did a kayak. And several hot tubs. We're very, very clean now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so tomorrow morning we're going to head uh, head to a bay about halfway uh, back and stay on a dock there. It's called Alf's Dock and the bay is Loretta Bay. So we're going to go stay in there and wait out a bit of a weather system that's uh, wreaking havoc on the Douglas Channel right now. It's only 20 to 30, but uh, minus 10 there. So we're quite happy to be at zero degrees here. Um, today we're going to go replace the geocache that we uh, found. Um, we uh, had a look at it and put some donations in there. A zip tie is always a good one for a geocache. It's something you can use in an emergency. Uh, we put, what else did we put, hun? A new notebook. A new notebook because the old notebook, notebook had one page left. So we put a new notebook in there. And there was one other thing. I can't remember what it was. So we challenge people to come find the geocache at Bishop Bay. We're not going to tell anyone where it is. Chef Derek again. Mm -hmm. Holy, that looks good. Here's a sea urchin, up close and prickly. <laughs> Let him go. Okay. Hi, sea urchin. Let me just push this off a bit. Let's put him back where we got him. There he goes. Oh, he kind of floats, eh? Yeah. There he goes. <laughs> We found some sun. <laughs> you like it, hun? Yeah. Oh, it feels good. Ah, vitamin D. While we had the GoPro out, we decided to look under the boat at the zincs. 
They all seem to be fine. There are a few that do need to be changed eventually, probably in a few months. When the water warms up and the temperatures get a little bit warmer, Derek will dive down and check it out better. Just uncovering all the window covers here, taking them all off so we can get ready. The ice is pretty crisp here. It's about minus four degrees Celsius this morning. Good morning, it's Friday. Uh, temperature's getting cold again. It's minus four, but it sure beats the minus 11 that's in Kitimat right now. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna head out today. Uh, we're gonna go halfway. Uh, the weather is got a good break in it rather than the um, 20 to 30 outflows that we would have had to face. It's only uh, 15 to 25 right now, uh, easing to 10 to 20 this afternoon. And then it's switching to a south wind to push us back home tomorrow, which is perfect. Uh, it's uh, 10 to 20 uh, from the south so far, unless it changes again. But. Uh, we're going to go to Loretta Bay and stay on Alf stock and uh, then tomorrow we're going to head home. We don't want to go home. <laughs> yeah, this is truly, uh, this is the first time we've done this. Uh, it's beautiful back this, there. This is the first time we've done this, sat in a bay for uh, a whole week uh, just relaxing and I tell you man, this was uh, soul cleansing. It was really good to just sit here. Really pretty. Enjoy the wilderness. And, you know, it's perfect. There's no cell phone service. There's no internet. Uh, all we get is uh, Coast Guard weather reports uh, over the radio. And uh, that's our only link to knowing what the weather is gonna do. So um, it's just been a beautiful week. Goodbye for now, Bishop Bay. We will be back. Another dock. <laughs> Derek and I bought this for Christmas for each other. A stainless steel crab trap. Derek's very excited. <laughs> I'm excited about it not rusting all over the deck of Skookum. Yeah, our other ones rust really bad. Stain the deck, then I have to scrub the deck. <laughs> We're gonna try putting it down and see if we get any crabbies. Do you think king crab can crawl through that one or is it a little small? It's a little bit small. We can still use our other ones for king crab, hey? Well, not really. 
because you want to remove them completely? Well, they're not king crab traps. Oh. You get the odd one that sneaks in is all. Back at the hot springs again. 